that is a lot. Oh god. I don't know if we can take that. Okay, stop! My god, that's so many! Oh! Okay, this might be the end of me. Mars sends a spirit to watch over my city. Okay, that's great. Can you kill them, please? Yes! Yes! Ah. Woo! <laughs> Die, you bastards. Oh, it doesn't kill all of them. Oh, no. They're still coming. It only killed off one battalion. Which might allow me to survive this. They're still shifting about. Oh crap. The elephants are over there. Oh wait, they're stuck. Okay, this might be good. This might be good. Uh, the elephants are going right through, which is not so good. Ah, they're coming back around. Ha ha! They happen to be pretty stupid. Uh oh, one guy got through. Oh no, I'm. I've lost. This is not good. Great, we have enough timber to give to Caesar. Okay, we're kind of screwed now. Uh, right. Okay, they're going around this way. Which might be okay. Okay, if they walk this way, they're gonna have to go through all these towers. Which might be enough to stop them. Too close to enemy troops, right? Well... Let's hope this stops them. Yes, I'm out of money. Come on, die, you bastards. Come on, prefectures, go kill them! <laughs> this is so bad, oh my god. Come on, there's a bunch of towers here as well. Kill the elephants! Okay, I think they're retreating. These elephants are still going though. Die! Yes! Okay, Festival for Mars. I think we got him. I think we got him. Yes, they're retreating! Suleiman! Get the f out of my city! Whew! This is stressful, man. Okay. Let's clear up this rubble. I think some temples got destroyed. Two for Ceres, two for Neptune, one for Mercury. Okay. Okay. So we know this area is pretty secure. Uh, this is still wide open though. I think we're gonna have to extend this road and build a whole bunch of walls here. Okay, wait, we really are quite out of cash. So let's just do one rogue tower for now. <sighs> Meanwhile, our city evolved pretty well. And they want a second type of food, which I don't think we're gonna provide on this mission. <laughs> Employees needed, but a whole bunch of people are moving in, so that's fine. Our money's back up, thanks to some of our exports. And, oh right, let's give Caesar his wood. Because Caesar needs his wood. <laughs> now, let's evolve these houses. They both need schools. So one there. And one there. Okay, we have a whole bunch of forts, but there are no troops. 
So let's just make sure Mars is happy and let's throw him another festival. Because we need as much help as we can get. Okay, there's no enemies at the gate right now, which gives us some time to recuperate our forces. Okay, now that all that's over, let's have an overview of the city. So we got the main farming area here, which seems to be supporting our food supplies. Which, actually I think we need a few more. So I'm just gonna put a few more there. So, yeah, because we're kind of running out of food now. Uh, to these main two residential areas, which have all been fully evolved, except for a second source of food, which I don't think we need. And I slipped in at the back here, the whole woodworking enterprise, which sends it all to this warehouse. And as you can see, we have a central system here with uh, furniture here, pottery here, and uh, oil here, with the main granary. There's only one granary in the entire city. And I was going to build another residential area here, but this weird glitch happened and I can't delete these buildings. They just won't go away. And what? That... Did it just delete my engineering post there? Okay, I better not try to delete any more of these things. And so I plan for one area to be there, but I also have two areas set up over here, which I'm currently evolving. Which, it should get me much closer to the 7,000 population mark. Meanwhile, I have a separated industry over here, which isn't connected to the city, where I'm making all the weapons and a surplus of wood because Caesar asked for wood. And here's also where I built a whole bunch of forts and stuff. And I've also got this line of walls here. And one fort on the outside to help defend, which in hindsight, this shouldn't be here. So overall, everything's going okay. Uh, food supply seems to be going back up, so that's good. And we should be well on our way to reaching our targets. Our culture, we can, no problem, it's almost there. Prosperity's fine. Peace just needs time. Favor's fine. So it's mainly a population issue. And let's boost up our culture a bit, just by dropping a couple libraries. And we are still in debt, uh, despite having full exports. Um, but we go up and down, so it's okay. So now let's try to reach our goals and not die to another attack. Ah, oh, good. Rome increased the price of weapons. That should help me stay out of debt. Okay, so I set up a little extra food supply here, because I think these areas need it. And enemies are at the door again, so I'm not sure if I can survive this one. <laughs> ah, looks like they're back again. Let's hope we can hold them off this time. Over there. Okay, we don't have that many troops. I think we'll wait for them to come to us. Okay, what is going on? Okay. He's not worth bringing. Okay, let's hope they come down this way. Okay, we don't have that many troops, but we do have a lot of these towers. Uh. Well, that's a lot of them, alright. If we can fight in front of these towers, we should be okay. Okay, maybe they'll do what they did last time. And they'll try squeeze in. Okay, we're gonna go at this 300 style. Try and funnel them into the valley. Where their numbers will count for nothing.
Come on, the longer you stay in this valley, the more you die. Uh-oh, they're breaking through. Okay, are they actually retreating? I hope they're not smart enough to go around the other way. Okay, I think they're going home. Whew. That was close. Well, not as close as last time. <laughs> All these towers really help. Luckily, they were dumb enough to attack down this way. If they came from this side, I don't know if I would have made it. A good day to you. Can I... Ah, we finally reached 5,000 people. 2,000 short this time, though. We're kind of running out of space to build. I've managed to fit one more housing area here, which might bring us up close to 7,000 once it's fully evolved. Because we have this one here, this, well, I explained earlier, this one here. These two have managed to evolve fully. And I planned, I can fit one more here because I managed to have a full granary and all the resources here. So I can actually fit one more housing area there if it's required. I would have much preferred it to be here, but well, you know, old games, they have bugs. Meanwhile, the attacks seem to have stopped. There's no more invasions, which is great because they were getting really stressful. And I can stop spending money on all these defenses. Perhaps they gave up after their last few attacks didn't work. But I dread to think what kind of military campaigns will be in the future. We're only like halfway through. A distant Roman city is threatened, it is defenseless, and you are the only city that can help. Dispatch a relief force, and quickly. Well, um... Okay, uh, dispatch troops to protect Taraco. Ah, Taraco. A small force will attack in 24 months. Well... Let's check. No one's trying to attack us, right? No. Alright. So we can send him what we need. Tell your military advisor to assign some operational legions to Empire Services. Okay, where is that? This guy. No. Uh, okay, sorry. This guy. Uh, five legionnaires, 16 legionnaires, three legionnaires. Um, okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just send him everything. Since we'll be okay. Does that send them off? Did I do that right? Oh, okay, I just figured it out. I set them to Empire Service and then I click on Dispatch. Okay, okay, now I get it, okay. Dispatch. Um, wait, what? Tell your military advisor to assign some operational legions to Empire Service. I did! No, oh, yeah. Empire Service. Why can't I... Ah, okay, there we go. Now, um, what am I doing? We're looking... We're gonna send it to... What? Oh, the Legion marching to relieve a city of the Empire. <laughs> okay. There they go. You're welcome for the wood. Okay, there's just too many... <laughs> Okay, never mind. Never mind! Okay, these houses are devolving. Um, I think I'm gonna put an extra market, two markets in every area. That way, they'll have a better chance of surviving. Um, food supply is still a bit low. Wow, despite having all that farming area, I kind of wasted it a bit. Oh look, you can actually see... Our soldiers walking over and enemy soldiers over there. So they're going from Toletum to Taraco. Okay, I think we'll get there in time. Wow, 
Wow, these gods really are jealous. All the other gods have 12 temples, and Ceres has 11, and that Ceres is displeased just because she's short by one temple. Jeez. Okay, now we've reached 7,000 people, so we got to our target population, which means culture's fine, prosperity's fine, favor is doing good. Now it's just peace, which we all know is a matter of time. So, let's just speed this up, and we'll win in no time. Oh, your relief force defeated the invading barbarians. In gratitude, Caesar sends materials and men to let you build a triumphal arch in your city. Okay, a triumphal arch. What does that mean? Oh, triumphal arch. Well... If it's for me, then why not? Um, it is actually a road, I'm thinking. That means we can actually build it on a road, that's right. Uh, where do they normally build these things? Like, in the middle of city, right? Well, I'm not gonna mess up my city for this. It's okay, we'll just put it right at the front, so when people walk into the city, they'll be in awe. There we go. Triumphal Arch. This magnificent edifice commemorates historic victories over Rome's enemies. Nothing could be more prestigious. There we go. We just dumped a whole bunch of academies right at the entrance to the city. That dealt with our unemployment problem. We could actually do with one more. And since people are still moving in, I'll build one more. There we go. Okay, we might win in January. Let's have a look. December. January. Yes! Oh, this was the hardest one yet. But we finally got through. Actually, the military missions have a lot more, you know, economical and population requirements than I expected. Oh well, let's accept promotion. <laughs> That Hannibal could cross the Alps with his elephants was amazing. That Mediolanum would prosper despite his assault is a miracle. Your success turns the tide of the Punic War in Rome's favor. All Rome thanks you. Well, all Rome, you're welcome. I'll see you guys in the next video.